Observers have raised fears over the future of democracy in Bangladesh. Following widespread allegations, the country's national elections were rigged. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's ruling party won an unprecedented 98% of seats in Sunday's vote. Hasina has denied claims the vote was fixed, saying people came out in droves to support her party. Opposition parties have called for fresh elections. The country's election commission has rejected those demands. Our correspondent, Nimisha Jaiswal, is standing by for us in the Bangladeshi capital, Dakar. Good morning to you, Nimisha. So how much pressure um, is there on Sheikh Hasina and her party? How much pressure are there under, given the widespread allegations of vote rigging? Well, the question here, really, Christine, is who can exert this pressure? The international community is what the opposition is calling on, but neighbouring countries and their leaders have already put out statements congratulating Sheikh Hasina. The main regional cooperation organisation of the area, the South Asia Association of Regional Cooperation, observers from there have come out this morning and said the election was free and fair. The United Nations put out a statement as well, saying... Uh, asking, urging Bangladeshis to maintain peace, but this does not mean that they are rejecting the election. The pressure, of course, is all trying to be built up by the opposition itself. They, are, they have been in meetings since the election happened. And uh, the leader of the opposition, Kamal Hussain, has also come out again, urging Bangladesh, as well as the international community, to reject this election, to hold a re-election re under mm. a caretaker government. And this is what he had to say. I hope that the international community will take note of this and since the international community on the basis of the United Nations Charter and the United Nations decisions should not recognize any government which does not have the consent of the people. So that was Bangladesh opposition leader Kamal Hussain speaking to DW there. Nimisha, so Bangladesh has a history of contested elections, but how angry are people about reports of irregularities after this latest election. Well, Christine, the people are definitely angry, but more importantly, they are scared. The voters that DW itself spoke to, uh, who experienced intimidation at the polling booth, one of them agreed to speak to us anonymously on camera, but the other was not even willing to come on uh, camera anonymously because she was so afraid for her safety. Now, this, of course, comes from uh, uh, months of intimidation that observers have al already stated that Bangladeshis have been facing. There has been a crackdown on on free speech, the Digital Security Act that the government passed earlier, cracks down on investigative journalism. So, of course, there is a climate over here where locals feel like even when they're angry, they cannot express it because the ruling party, the Awami League, led by Sheikh Hasina, is far too strong. All right, Nimisha, what are the next steps for the opposition here? Can they really mobilize a government against the government, as Kamal Hussein is promising? Well, the crucial thing for the opposition will be to start a people's movement. A quick history lesson here. Back in 1996, Sheikh Hasina herself was in opposition and was able to pull off demands for re-election exactly on terms like this, under a caretaker government. But she had a massive people's movement again, uh, up with her, supporting her. And like I mentioned, if the people over here are too scared to come out, it will be very difficult for the opposition to mobilize a movement like this. However, at this point, we can just wait and watch if the opposition, weak as it is, can cobble together such a strong movement. All right, that's DW's Nimisha Jaiswal reporting for us in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Thank you.